Hello, this is Josh from the Business Acceleration Group, home of CBO Acceleration and also ICE Accelerate Marketing Automation Services. I'm going to actually show you something quick and easy, but at the same time very effective. I'm going to show you how to create an email template inside Infusionsoft that actually comes off as a very personal email. It looks at like a personal email in every way, shape, or form. Uh, it has a layout of a personal email. It doesn't have a footer making it look as if it's uh, produced by a system and sent out by a system. And it's also uh, aligned correctly to the left as if someone sent an email from their own uh, email client. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So it's really qu uh, really simple actually. So I'm right now in the email builder uh, inside Infusionsoft. Um, technically I'm actually in the template section of Infusionsoft and I'm creating a brand new email template but you can actually create this email template anywhere inside Infusionsoft because the email builder is shared across several different features of, the, of Infusionsoft. Okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to layout and then on uh, layout you actually want to uh, go ahead and um, align it to the left Okay, and the reason why is because typically when people send emails from their own email clients, uh, they're aligned to the left. Go ahead and check your emails, and you'll see for yourself if you've seen if you've received personal emails from other people, they're usually aligned to the left. Okay, now this is an optional thing, but if you do want to make the email mobile friendly, it's not mobile optimized, mobile responsive, but it's mobile friendly, then you want to change the width to be 350 that will actually size it to be perfect on a mobile but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just just leave it uh, the way it is at default okay okay and then for this you actually wanna go go ahead and go to uh, for pre-header go ahead and turn that off and then for header turn that off as well okay and then for this right here just delete that delete that delete that you know, basically just delete all the stuff that's already in there when you first are starting to create an email template inside Infusionsoft. Okay, so go ahead and go to style and then go to simple, which is typically a default uh, style inside your email builder, inside your Infusionsoft application. We'll go ahead and click on that and then click edit. Okay, now here's where we're going we're gonna to do a few small things here. That we're, so this way we can really make this appear as if it's a very, it's a personal email. Okay, so the footer, the footer itself, uh, you actually want to make it completely flush with the background which means that you know you want to make sure that it blends in uh, with the background and the background in this case is white right so we need to make sure that the footer text is also white so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and type that in and white uh, the uh, co code for that the RGB code for that is six F's okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for footer link Okay, so there you have it. So now you have a blank white email template aligned to the left that also has the f footer completely whited out. So this way it doesn't look like a system produced email. And there you have it. It's that simple to create a personal email style email template inside Infusionsoft. Okay, and you also want to save that. Uh, this way it's saved as a personal email template style. If you did also adjust the width to be mobile friendly, then you probably want to, in the naming convention, put in there that it's also mobile. So maybe mobile personal email template, for example. And, that, and that's it. And there you have it. And then just hit save, update style, and you're good to go. So you just created a brand new email style for uh, inside Infusionsoft that you can use and you could turn to and now you can create email templates uh, that you can use in your sales automation or in your follow-up sequences or your note templates that your sales reps are using or you're using uh, to send emails or that want that you want to come off very personal as if they were they're sent from you personally versus from a system